Hello everybody and welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. In the last episode, uh, we signaled the fire and um, Terran Logan just fucking left. He dropped the mic and left. So um, we lost the battle, the king died, uh, Duncan died as well. And we were saved by uh, Morgan's mother, Flemeth. And we were repaired in this hut. Repaired, yes, we were repaired in this hut. And I did not notice that tower. And she was like, take my daughter and her virginity along with you. And she's like, what? And I was like, yee. Nice. And so, yeah, we took her with us. And now we're on the road to uh, the Red Cliff to see the Arl. Actually, the Arl. <laughs> to see the um, Arl. But actually, we're not going to Red Cliff. We're going somewhere else. I actually do have something I want to give uh, this woman. Give her that. Give her the stud leather gorillas. Give her the freaking stud leather armor. Pretty sure that's better, right? Oh, but plus two magic and plus 10% cold damage. Yeah, she should probably just continue wearing that. I just wanted to give her uh, some new boots and gloves. So she can have some armor. Um, and I'll also give her a gift. Why not? I'll give her this. A fine gift. You have my thanks. You're welcome. Okay. Uh, what else? Oh, yeah. I actually have a staff that she can use, don't I? I do. Dark spawn staff. Which one's better? The dark spawn staff, probably. What? Okay, let's see. It, it has plus one spell power. Spell, like, they both do the same amount of thing, basically, right? No, hers is definitely better. Yeah, okay. Well, let's continue on. Actually, I should probably save it. Save it at Ostagar. Oh, good old Ostagar. It's gone now. But, yeah, let's head out to uh, that town that she mentioned. Yep. Yeah. What, what happened to that dog? I wonder. Yes. Uh, yeah. Loathering. Ugh, I loathe loathering. Get it? Oh, a random encounter. Is there a random encounter? Dinner room? Oh, I think we're gonna see some stuff about the low gain. Yeah. And I expect each of you to supply these men. We must rebuild what was lost at Ostagar and quickly. There are those who would take advantage of our weakened state if we let them. We must defeat this darkspawn incursion, but we must do so sensibly. And without hesitation. Your Lordship, if I might speak. You have declared yourself Queen Anora's regent and claim we must unite under your banner for our own good. But what of the army lost at Ostagar? Your withdrawal was most fortuitous. Yeah, so put it lightly, fortuitous with quotation marks around it. Everything I have done has been to secure Ferelden's independence. I have shirked. not shirked my I love the word throne, shirked. I love it so much. Any of you. The Banorn will not bow to you simply because you demand it. Understand this. I will brook no threat to this nation. I'm take a drink you real quick, so hold on. Or anyone. Antigon, please! Your Majesty, your father risks civil war. If Eamon were here... Antigon, my father is doing what is best. Did he also no, do not. what was best for your husband, your Majesty? Ooh. I wish he just fell to her knees and went like, no. That would have been great. We go on the road. <gasps> Doggo! You came! Yay! Come here, buddy. Yes. I want you. Wait, what? Oh shit, boy. Order. Let's go. 
Let's get him. Oh my god, that's a lot of dark spawn. Oh, that's a lot of dark spawn. That, that's a little bit too much for my life. Oh wow, that that's like actually a lot of dark spawn. These Morgans over here fucking kicking ass. But like, Jesus Christ, I'm not. Get them. Yeah. Oh, Alistair died. Nice job, Alistair. You suck as always. Nothing on him, really? Nothing on any of these guys? Rags is still happily in pants. I'll say. I think he was out there looking yeah. for you. He's chosen you. Mabari are like that. They call it imprinting. Yes. Does this mean we're going to have this mangy beast following us about now? Wonderful. He's not mangy. Yay. Wasn't the book made meant to be in combat for it. Yeah. <coughs> Yay. I think we get to name him now, don't we? Oh yeah, okay. Doc. I'm gonna name him I know what I'm gonna name him. <laughs> A lot of people already probably know it's coming. I mean everybody has to know it's coming now. Rick Harris. Oh. Okay, Rick Harris. Fine. Rick Harris. New codex, Rick Harris. Oh yeah. Okay, we need to... Okay, hold on. We need to level up your constitution. Like, you're dying constantly. Everything else I'd just kind of like to level up automatically. Get combat tactics now. And then... I don't care. Precise striking there. I... Nice. Okay, Rick Harris. Oh, he's so adorable. Alright. Do you, do you see anything interesting? So a, a dirty pair of silk platoon, a pantaloon, sorry. Thank you, Rick Harris. <laughs> One can never have too many pairs of pantaloons. <laughs> now, there is something that you can actually get that's really good, not here, because I this is the first time I've actually gotten this dog. Usually, if you start as a human, you just get a dog immediately. Um, what was... Oh, yeah, I got an item. I got some pantaloons. Where are the pantaloons? Are, they're under junk, aren't they? No, they're not, actually. <gasps> Is that for me? Really? <laughs> he loved it. He loved it. Dirty developed silk pantaloons. You're welcome, Alistair. You deserve it. Just You, you, you just deserve it, pal. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. So let's continue on to, um... The Loathering now. So much blood in this game. Why do we create blood trails as we travel past? There we go. Wake up, gentlemen. More travelers to attend to. Led by a dwarf, oddly enough. Um, all right. uh, they don't look much like their mothers, you know. Uh, yeah, your friend there is smart. Just let these ones pass. Nonsense. Greetings, travelers. Highwaymen preying on those fleeing the darkspawn, I suppose. That is. They are fools to get in our way. I say, teach them a lesson. How is that any way to greet someone? A simple ten silvers, and you're free to move on. On our refugees. What I tell you. No wagons, and this one looks armed. The toll applies to everyone, Henrik. That's why it's a toll, and not, say, a refugee tax. Yeah, that sounds exactly oh, right. like what it is. Even if you're no refugee, you still got to pay. I forget I'm paying. I don't know very well. Toll collectors, Indeed, then. for the upkeep of the Imperial Highway. It's a bit of a mess, isn't it? Oh, tricks on the highway. I think not. Not much gets past you, I see. It's not really a toll. We're just robbing you. See? Yeah, I see. Dude, it's shut. pretty obvious. Even a Genlock would have understood that. Oh, it's Genlock? Well, 
I can't say I'm pleased to hear that. We have rules, you know. Right. We get to ransack your corpse, then. Those are the rules. Intimidate, you really want to fight a Grey Warden? He's a Grey Warden. Them ones killed the king. Traitors to Ferelden, I hear. Turn Logain put quite a bounty on any who are found. Ah, oh, really? Oh, are them Grey Wardens good? I mean, really good. Yeah, we, we kind of are. Mm-hmm. You have a point. Well, let's forget about the toll. We'll just leave you to your dark spawn fighting, king killing ways. You know, the Grey Wardens could use a donation. Yeah. It's really good, boss. Remember. Well, yes. 20 silvers? That's all we've collected today. Excellent donation. Thank you. Uh, do enjoy your stay in Lothering and all that. Okay, pro tip from Jared here. Listen, you gotta do everything here that you want to do. Because if you don't do enough here... We could just kill them now, I think. Oh, uh, back, are you? Well, yeah, whatever. We settled things nice and amicable. Yeah, there ah, we go. Shame you feel that way. Well, yeah, not me. These refugee types are right for the. Remember, we're really Shall we good. Settle our difference of opinion now, then. We are not alone. Uh, yeah, but we we need to get rid of them because um, we're not alone. We're really not alone. <laughs> I don't, I don't think you actually killed them, if I remember correctly. Yee, boy, get him. Alright, hey! We surrender. We're, we're, we're just trying to get by before the dog spawn get us all. You get by, you're a criminal. Yes, I'm a criminal. He said you were robbing us, I admit it. I, you follow my lead. Ooh. Is everything you've stolen and start running and don't come back? Now you die, it's all you deserve. Once we've got to enter, let's start running and don't come Bless back. You. The dark spawn can have this place. So, yeah. Um, you're going to want to do everything you can here, like right now. There are two followers you can get here, which are pretty good followers, so you're well, going to want to get them now. There it is. Because as no, soon as you leave here, it is literally just taken over uh, by the dark spawn. So, you have finally decided to rejoin us, have you? Falling on your blade in grief seemed like too much trouble, I take it. Is my being upset so hard to understand? Have you never Yeah, these two don't like each other. You? Just what would you do if your mother died? Before or after I stopped laughing. Right, very creepy. Forget I asked. Um What did you want to talk about? He's naval, I suspect. He certainly has been contemplating it for long enough. Oh, I get it. This if he is, is an Audi, he's out of the party. How you've never had a friend your entire life. I can be friendly when I desire to. Alas, desiring to be more intelligent does not make it so. Anyway, I thought we should talk about where we intend to go first. Um, we should try and use the trees. I assume we need to hear some news. Oh uh, yeah, I'll figure it out. Let's just well, get going. We'll need to decide eventually. Let's head into the village when you're ready. Uh, yeah. So yeah, this place is not a time limit. It's just literally when you leave, it's taken over by dark spawn. So you're gonna want to do dwarves in these parts. You here to trade? Um, not every dwarf is merchant, you know. Yeah, and my aunt Fanny's an Orlesian chevalier. You working with a fella by the bridge? There's a dwarf by the bridge. Not a dwarf, a merchant, gouging folks by charging a fortune for the basics. They shouldn't have come here with nothing, I guess. Can't promise I'm gonna answer them. Um. Yeah. Well, you mean they're gone? Yes, I drove them off. Well, goody for you. Now there's no one to drive off the blighted refugees. Ah, oh, fuck you. Be glad, though. He's been talking about offering a reward for anyone who'd run them out. Who's in charge here? You could talk to the Elder. Though she's got her hands full getting everyone on their way. For now, most folks go to Sir Bryant. He's head of the Chantry's Templars. Oh. Uh, why don't you really... Uh, I should go. Don't let me stop you. This guy's a fucking dick. Okay, is this Sir Bryant? If no. you're looking for safe shelter, I'll warn you. There's none to be found. No, that's fine. Move on if you can. Lothering's lost. Um Do you know about the bands outside the village? Really unfortunate whenever they get the chance. We've had refugees streaming from the south for the last two days. The Chantry and Tavern are full to bursting. 
There simply isn't enough food to go around, and we Templars can barely keep order. You'd be better off elsewhere, my friend. Thanks for the warning. Best of luck wherever you might go. This guy's cool. But I mean, it's fine. You guys are I'm fine. I'm everyone in Lothering is aware of the approaching Darkspawn horde. Yeah, me too, Alistair. Back off. I have the right to charge what I want. Oh, wish. what is this? I you didn't even mean to walk into fortune. this. I should have the Templars give away everything in your carts. You wouldn't dare. Any of you step too close to my goods and I'll... It's so nice to see everyone working together in a crisis. Warms the heart. Oh, it's beautiful, Alistair, oh, I know. You there. You look able. Would you care to make a tiny profit helping a beleaguered businessman? Where's my bronze? Is, is it... Yeah. Why would I want to help you? I yeah. mentioned profit. He Just is because I'm a dwarf. Outlandish prices for things people desperately need. Their blood is filling his pockets. Tis only survival of the fittest. All of these Cretans would do the same in his shoes, given the chance. I have limited supplies. The people decide what those supplies are worth to them. You bought most of your wares from these very people last week. Now they flee for their lives, and you want to talk business? Look, stranger, I have a hundred silvers if you drive this rabble off, starting with that priest. I'm an honest merchant, nothing more. I don't think you're being, yeah, you don't unscrupulous. Would it help if they could buy no goods at all? They spend their very last coin because they are desperate, and this man preys upon them as surely as the bandits outside the city. Nah. I'm not arguing anymore. Drive off this woman and get your hundred silvers. Otherwise, I'm taking my wagon and leaving. I think you can come right yeah. Perhaps. If that woman agrees, I'm allowed to charge something. Do what you must. So long as the prices do not beggar the needy. Fine, fine, done. And since you don't look too needy, normal prices for you. So, we have come to solve every squabble in the village personally. My, but the Darkspawn will be impressed. Thank you for your generous assistance. May the Maker watch over your path. Thank ye. Fuck you, Morrigan. We have to help people. I mean, come on. Bandits, bandits everywhere. We've already done that, I think. No, I remember this now. Oh, that's dedication. The legions of evil are on your doorstep. You know, it's good when you walk into a village and there's some guy screaming. There is nowhere to run. This evil will cover the world like a plague of locusts. Please, you're scaring the children. <laughs> Please, you're scaring the children, mate. Carl, Carl, what are you doing? There, one of their minions is already amongst us. This man bears their evil stench. Can you not see the vile blackness that fills him? Oh, I get it. It's just because I'm a dwarf, isn't it? I know I intend to watch for Ether X Chase Why don't you keep your voice down? The black Horde descend on my people. I will not be silent. Please stop. Somebody shut his mouth. But isn't he right? The ban left us. We're going to die. This minion is but the first of those who will destroy us. Calm down, dude. That's not so mad you permit. What happened to you? My family. My clan. Those creatures butchered them all. Some of us fled here. But we cannot escape the dog spawn. Well, I mean, yeah, you can. They can be defeated. How did you escape? No, I won't listen to the words of a man tainted by Darkspawn. I'm not evil. Please, won't you talk I to me? Oh. Hearing my wife's screams as they dragged her off. So we'll get her back. You're not hiring us, but I'm sorry for your Why loss. Am I here? I still know how to go. Oh my God, it's actually sad. Holy he shit. He was right, wasn't he? There's no hope for us. Yeah, yeah, there, there is. There's always hope. Muster your right. courage. We can't give up. But we can't fight. What are we supposed to do? We can't lie down and die either. We must go north to death. Okay, I, I'm sorry. I was looking up. You cannot save this place. I was making sure you could say, like, maybe if you solved all of the problems, you could save it. But no, you can't save them. 
Morgan, was that you disapproving last time, or was that literally you disapproving again? Because that is really stupid if you disapproved of that. Maybe with that blasted chasing gone, my head ache will go as well. Like, Jesus fucking Christ, mate. What do you need? No, not you. Actually, I think you can actually get up. What do you wish of me? I'd like to ask you something. If you must. You, how do you kind of I was not me? born such. Yeah, we're when just gonna skip this. I'm sorry. Separate from his tribe. Chain, why do you ask? Is there something specific? In I gain nothing by. Yeah, studying. yeah, I can become a shapeshifter. If you had a notion to learn such a skill for yourself, time, sadly, you. But my life is as a human. Yeah. They do. As to what they think. I was mad no. at this before. The zealots of the chantry would up. There are something. those who look. That's all I want Indeed. To ask. Have you an opinion on my abilities then? Am I an unnatural abomination to be put to the torch? Oh, but enough of little man. Yeah, you what can just like literally me? get. If you, I, I, you know, I won't skip it. Um, did you go up in the car as I've been hunted by the chantry slings? So really, yeah. <laughs> well, that depends, does it not? What does she seem to be? Uh, a powerful Malefica. You mean is she truly the Flemeth of legend and story? Yeah. Tell me. How much do you know of the tale? The one that the chastened still tell of my mother, to frighten them into obedience. Um, I didn't even know there was such a thing. I've heard a little bit of it. I'm more interested in the truth. I've heard a little of no it. No doubt such a tale has mutated much over time and telling. Well, I mean, every tale I does, I can relay so. what Flemeth once told me herself. And you can decide whether or not tis the truth, if you mm. desire. Sounds interesting. As the tale is sung by the bards. There was a time when Flemeth was young and beautiful. A fair lass in a land of barbarian men. The desire of any who saw her. Jesus Christ. I'm so long ago. Yeah, I've heard this The part. tales say that Flemeth yada, yada, Lord Conobar yada. approached young Osen and offered him wealth. Osen was led off to a field and slain, left for dead. Flemeth spoke. That was not the... Flem Lord, the legends all speak of the great hero Cormac, he who defeated Flemeth and her great... The truth of the... Cormac... Flemeth was only attached to the legend much later. Perhaps twas due to... Thank Flemeth you. tells it with... Dare I ask of your own mother? Few oh, are abominations of legends, say, tis true, well, but I find myself curious nevertheless. Yeah, mother died a long time ago. You have my sympathies for... Which is very little, I am... There we go, ye boys. Let's talk to Rick Harris. <laughs> Why are we all still bloody? Like, oh my god. Pet Rick Harris. Oh, I thought it's Rick Harris approves. I don't think you can... <laughs> he actually licks the blood off if you do that, I think. Yeah, can you think that was very nice? Yeah. What do you need? Oh. I'd like to ask, ask you away. something. Oh, the other main purpose for a Templar is the ch and since the Chantry Sorry. controls the Lyrium trade with the Dwarves, so you were thankfully the same? no. You don't oh, Red Lyrium, ooh. What do you need? Like Ask away. Tell me about the Great Warden. Such as they are. Oh, no. Yeah, I don't think this about will... About the Great Wardens, anyhow. What do you need? Ask yeah, away. That, that, uh... Did I say that? I meant that dogs raised me. Giant slobbering dogs. Oh, well, it wasn't until I was eight that I discovered you didn't have to lick yourself clean. Old habits die hard, you know. Uh-huh. Well, and my then... table manners, too. Though, come to think of it, they weren't all that different. Or did I dream all of that? Um. <laughs> Funny the dreams you'll have when you sleep on a cold, hard ground, isn't it? Going to hit you very soon. You would now. do violence upon me. Let's see. How do I explain this? I'm a bastard. Oh. Before you okay. make any smart comments, I mean the fatherless kind. My mm -hmm. mother was a serving girl in Redcliffe Castle who died when I was. Oh was no. Good to me. And he didn't have to be. So, I respect the man, and I don't this? blame him anymore for sending me off. To I know. Uh, wasn't your father? Yeah. yeah so blood of blood of blood. Nearest monastery at age Probably ten. So, Probably. Stupid, stupid thing to do. Oh, yeah. Oh, like, any. Oh, uh, yeah, let's do all this shit later. No, not Rick Harris, no! 
No, stop, Rick Harris. Leave Rick Harris alone. Oh, we should probably end it off here. I right, well, so, you know, we fled the loathering. It's, I, I, I loathe loathering. Get it? That's an e-slapper. But, um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.